Everything we know so far about Florida teen's disappearance. The Hunters Creek Middle School student was last seen at 8.30 a.m. on February 26th when her mother's boyfriend took her to school. Jennifer Soto, however, discovered later that day that her daughter had never made it to school that day. Days later, Jen Soto's boyfriend, Stefan Stearns, was made the prime suspect in Madeline Soto's disappearance and was arrested on unrelated charges regarding sexual battery and child sex abuse material found on his phone. On February 22, Madeline Soto reached a milestone her 13th birthday. Madeline's birthday celebration overflowed with happiness as she gleefully unwrapped her gifts. Radiating joy with every moment. A t the time, Jen Soto said there wasn't a moment in the day that her daughter was having conversations on her phone or laptop or making plans for Monday. February 26th, Monday morning, Jen Soto's boyfriend, Stefan Stearns, drove Madeline Soto to school. Stearns dropped her off a few blocks from Hunters Creek Middle School near Peace United Methodist Church on Town Loop Boulevard, about a half mile from the school. It remains unclear why she was dropped off at this location, but Sheriff Mina said it's possible she was embarrassed by the vehicle she was in and asked her mom's boyfriend to be dropped off at that location. When Jen Soto went to pick up her daughter at school on Monday afternoon, she discovered Madeline Soto had never set foot inside the school that day. The Orange County Sheriff's Office began to search for Madeline Soto on Tuesday. Sheriff John Mina said over 100 personnel, including deputies, detectives, intelligence analysts, specialized personnel, and bloodhounds were out searching for the missing teenager. Deputies and Sotos have passed out flyers in the area to notify people of the ongoing search. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement also added Madeline Soto to their current missing child alerts and has listed her as endangered. An amber alert has not yet been issued for Soto. These kinds of emergency alerts are triggered when law enforcement has a well-founded belief, based on an active investigation, that a kidnapping has occurred, according to FDLA. There could also be a well-founded belief that the missing child is in imminent danger of death or serious bodily injury. We don't know if she was taken. We don't know if she stepped away. She left her phone at the house, Sheriff Mina said. The Orange County Sheriff's Office also said they are concerned for Madeline's safety in an update on Wednesday afternoon. Jen Soto speaks with Hannah McKenzie via Zoom on Tuesday night. She said, I'm trying to hope for the best, but I'm scared for her. I want her to be okay. I want her to be safe. I just want her back, whatever that means. I just want her back. Throughout this Zoom call, Jen Soto's boyfriend, Stefan Stearns, appeared in the background. Sheriff Mina held a press conference on Wednesday to share an update about the search for Madeline Soto. This is every parent's worst nightmare. We can't even imagine the pain and anguish that Madeline's family is going through, Sheriff Mina said. We will not stop until we find her. In this update, Sheriff Mina revealed that Madeline Soto had left her phone at home on Monday, the day of her disappearance. When deputies searched it, they learned that Soto had told her friends that she wanted to live in the woods after her 13th birthday, triggering a search in the woods area behind Hunters Creek Middle School. We don't know if she was taken. We don't know if she stepped away. She left her phone at the house, Sheriff Mina said. That's why we're putting all this effort into it. That's why we're doing this press conference, in hopes that someone from the public may have seen something. It might not have seemed like a big deal at the time, but now, knowing what Madeline looks like, Maybe there's some new information that can help us find her whereabouts. Stefan Stearns was arrested on Wednesday night on unrelated charges to the Madeline Soto case. He was still, however, named the prime suspect in the teen's disappearance since he was the last person who had seen her on Monday morning. Stearns was arrested and booked into the Orange County Jail on charges including sexual battery and possession of child sex abuse material after detectives found disturbing images on his phone. The Orange County Sheriff's Office said. They also said Stearns allegedly tried to delete the evidence from his phone. Detectives said the Digital Forensics Unit discovered images and videos that were criminal and sexual in nature. These alleged crimes were committed at their family home in Kissimmee, and the Kissimmee Police Department was notified immediately. The Kissimmee Police Department is the lead on the sexual battery case, working alongside the Orange County Sheriff's Office's Criminal Investigations Division. When Stearns was brought into Orange County Sheriff's Office Central Operations, he was interviewed by both Kissimmee Police and OCSO detectives. He invoked his right to an attorney and was placed under arrest. Stephen Stearns had an opportunity tonight to come clean with detectives 
and help lead them to information about Maddie's disappearance. The Kissimmee Police Department released the arrest affidavit for Stefan Stearns on Thursday. The document said that during officials' interview with Stefan regarding Madeline Soto's disappearance, he provided consent to search his phone, but did say he accidentally performed a factory reset on his phone that day, the same day Madeline Soto was last seen. When officials reviewed Stern's phone, they found several photos and videos depicting children in sexual acts. The affidavit revealed that officials have probable cause to believe Stern's committed a sexual battery, in addition to being in possession of material depicting the sexual performance of a child. Stephen Stearns was transferred from the Orange County Jail to Osceola County on Friday morning. Stephen Stearns was transferred from the Orange County Jail to Osceola County on Friday morning, March 1st. Amanda McKenzie questioned Stearns as deputies removed him from the patrol car and walked him into the jail, but he remained silent. She asked him questions related to his arrest, what detectives found on his phone, and if he had anything to do with Madeline Soto's disappearance. The Orange County Sheriff's Office is confident that Madeline Soto, a 13-year-old girl who was reported missing earlier this week, is dead. The update came during a Friday afternoon press conference from Orange County Sheriff John Mina, who said deputies told the devastating news to Madeline Soto's mother Jen Soto on Thursday night. Sheriff Mina said detectives believe Jen Soto's boyfriend Stefan Stearns, who was arrested on Wednesday night on unrelated charges and was named a prime suspect in this case. Deputies believe that Madeline Soto was never dropped off at school on Monday morning and was dead before then. They also said Stearns allegedly moved her body in the morning hours of that day after killing her in Kissimmee. Friday afternoon, March 1, multi-agency search for Madeline Soto near area where Stephen Stearns was last seen the Kissimmee Police Department is collaborating with St. Cloud Police, Orange County Sheriff's Office, and Osceola County Sheriff's Office on the search in this area. At Friday's press conference, officials said Stearns was last seen in this area between 1 and 2.30 p.m. on Monday and might have been changing a flat tire here at that time. Amid the search, the St. Cloud Police Department and Kissimmee Police Department are asking anyone with doorbell or neighborhood surveillance video footage from Monday that shows Stearns driving his silver Lincoln MKZ with Florida tag IYL82 in the area of US 100, 92, Nolte Road and Old Hickory Tree in St. Cloud. Friday afternoon, March 1, Madeline Soto's body was found amid a search for the missing 13-year-old girl who was last seen on Monday morning according to officials. The teen's body was found off Hickory Tree Road in Osceola County around 4.30 p.m. Friday. This area is where Stearns was last seen between 1 and 2.30 p.m. On Monday, officials said during Friday's press conference, he was driving his silver Lincoln MKZ with a flat tire and is believed to have been changing his tire in this area. During a press conference, Officials said the body found was wearing clothing similar to what Madeline Soto was last wearing. Residents in St. Cloud set up a memorial near the location where 13-year-old Madeline Soto's body was found on Friday evening. The memorial included flowers, rosaries, and stuffed animals. Many locals expressed heartbreak and sadness over her tragic death, with some mentioning they didn't even know Madeline personally but were deeply affected. Wednesday, March 6, new court documents allege Stefan Stearns may have abused Madeline Soto years before her disappearance. Death according to the partially redacted arrest affidavit, some of the photos and videos found on Stearns' cell phone had timestamps dated back to August 2022, which means Madeline Soto would have been around 11 at the time. While the victim's identity is redacted, the birth date listed matches that of Soto's. The report also mentioned that the victim lived in the same home as her mother and Stearns. Another affidavit specified that the victim was the missing child. Tuesday, March 12, State Attorney's Office files 60 additional charges against Stefan Stearns, the prime suspect, in the disappearance and death of Madeline Soto. Stearns has not yet been charged for Soto's death at this time. Tuesday, March 12, Orange County Public Schools will make changes to when and how it alerts parents when a student is absent from school. Superintendent Maria Vasquez revealed during Tuesday night's board meeting that Orange County Schools will now let parents know in the morning that their child has missed class or did not show up to school, Vasquez said. Currently, 
The district notifies parents via an automated phone call or text message after the student misses more than half of the school day, which is usually sent towards the end of the school day. Thursday, March 21, Kissimmee Police Chief Betty Holland hosted a press conference on Thursday morning to keep the community in the loop about the case. No new information has been shared, but she did clarify the investigation process in the weeks after Soto's death. Police continue to work closely with the state attorney's office to put a case together against Stearns. Law enforcement also continues to piece together the timeline leading up to Soto's death, and Holland refused to answer any questions from reporters that would compromise the integrity of the investigation. Stearns, who has been in jail since Feb, has invoked his right to counsel and has not cooperated with the investigation, Holland said. Police said they have interviewed the teen's mother, Jennifer, and she has been cooperating with the investigation. Everyone that was close to Madeline is considered suspect until we have proven otherwise, Holland said, adding in a separate statement that no one is not cooperating other than Stearns. Soto's cause of death has still not yet been determined. Kissimmee police are working closely with the medical examiner's office until that update comes in. The Kissimmee Police Department will continue to provide updates as they have them. Madeline's bright spirit lives on in the memories of those who knew her, but her untimely demise serves as a sobering reminder of the fragility of life 